Toto Wolf and Christine Horner. Media banter between the both of them is not anything new. Since 2014, when Mercedes defeated Red Bull in both Drivers and Constructors World Championship, both have been looking over each other's shoulders to see what the other team is doing and making sure everything out of ordinary is being talked about and reported. But 2021 has been a new chapter in the story. Before we go further, I wanted to see a quick thing. The analytics show that over 90% of you viewers of this channel are not subscribed to it yet. If you like my content, then a like and subscribe would go a long way into helping me build more interesting content for you. Thank you, and now back to the video. Don't get me wrong. Horner and Wolf definitely respect each other. they appreciate what each other have achieved in several years in the sport and know that at the end of the day they both compete hard for the same end goal however they also know that for their team to win the championship the other team has to lose and sometimes it is important to get under the other person's skin formula 1 is a team sport and often 70% of the race is already won or lost before the teams arrive on the circuit on Thursdays. Drivers can only do so much in the race if the car is not good enough. And therefore, the teams always try to find that small upgrade that give the drivers that bit of an advantage they need to have an edge over their opposition. and the 95% of the way the car is set already defined for the year it only gives the teams a small margin to improvise and interpret the rules in a way that favor them and often times these upgrades fall in the gray area of regulation at the beginning of the 2020 season horner had been vocal about the DAS system of mercedes and how it is illegal and unfair to other teams and more recently wolf has been talking to the media and urging FIA to take action against red bull's flexi wings horner responded to it by saying that if he was wolf he would be keeping his mouth shut provided the fact that the front wings of the mercedes cars itself are flexible under high speeds and the banter is not limited to the dubious upgrades They often criticize about the leadership styles of each other. After the recent races, Wolf criticized his team for their performance. Horner commented on this, saying that Wolf shouldn't have publicly roasted his team, but it is anyway his prerogative to do so. While this is not the first time Horner and Wolf have been publicly criticizing each other, this year is a bit different from the previous years. This year Red Bull seems to clearly have the better car. And this as Horner says puts Wolf on uncharted waters. Wolf never had such a serious threat to his team in the last 7 years. And it is clear that Mercedes team is getting a bit nervous about what the outcome will be for this year. And as the season unfolds it would only be normal for the bosses of both teams to try to get under each other's skins but hey as long as they keep it respectable no one will complain about a bit of a drama outside the track thank you very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please hit that like button consider subscribing to the channel if you like to watch similar content and stay tuned to i am formula for everything formula 1 until next time take care and stay safe